Ah. Well, good evening. Welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me, I'm the host of this video. Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the Goddamn Mother Flip Flappin' Del Rich. Tonight we're reading out of Playboy's Host and Bar Book by Thomas Mario. Fine. Fine reference material for any of you swingers looking to have a little party. I'm going to read a few excerpts out of this book. We're going to make a little cocktail a little bit later on with our uh, Hennessy VSOP. You're wondering if there's any logic, rhyme, or reason in this. <clears throat> so let me just, let, let's just get into this. By Thomas Mario. With the flair he brings to his Playboy articles on food and drink. Thomas Mario offers an encyclopedic guide to party giving, standards for wines and spirits, and some 800 recipes for mixed drinks. Fabulous, fabulous. Playboy's host and bar book is not for the solitary drinker or wine archivist, cork sniffers. Rather, it is written in the belief that whenever two or more persons touch glasses, both the liquor and something else begin stirring up. A little wiggling in the loins, perhaps. That something else is the young appetite for life and for the very means of enjoying it. Mm. Playboy's reason for existence and the reason for this book is all those subtle little variations in life that you like to enjoy. But very, very interesting. Some fabulous... And it did have some little hash marks, check marks, hash marks sounds more official for some of the cocktails the previous owner of this book uh, has sampled, the Flying Grasshopper being one of them. I do believe that Rayo and I tried a version of the Grasshopper um, quite some time, and I believe that was the biggest stinker of all cocktails ever. I don't even think it was drinkable. Um, but look at that. That looks like a, a hand made out of ice. Clutching that Collins glass there. Look at this. And here this young man is whispering sweet nothings into that young gal's ear. Wonderful. Look at the garnishes. Make me whimper and cry. Parties for pleasure. They got a few parties in here. I just want to read the one. Because there's one that one party goes all night long. It goes all night long, and they tell you what you're drinking in the morning. They're not even doing any, they don't mention any anything else. But uh, parties for pleasure, brunch party, the post-football fete, or I'm not sure it's French. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ski party, intimate sundown party. Ooh, that's not the one. We got a little foie gras. The bachelor dinner party. Okay, wait, I'm getting to it, I'm sorry. Cocktail, alfresco, galley, indoor picnic. Okay, the progressive dinner party. This is right in tune for what's going on right now. I believe I hear the word progressive used a lot. Okay, let, let me get to this. But here, we're getting to the end of the party. This is where it gets about 11 o'clock or midnight. Because back then, parties started later. Not like Rayel and I were, were asleep by 9. Most people aren't even leaving the house till 10. We forget bars are closed at 11. Anyway, okay. Um, but at the fourth anchorage, the highball host takes over. If ever a highball should be commandingly tall, it's late at night, during the witching hour, when thirsts are at their peak. The party reaches its happy apogee by dawn's <coughs> early light at breakfast headquarters, where vodka and gin, orange juice, tomato juice, and clam juice, a nifty addition to your Bloody Mary, should be ready alongside the bowl of eggs, the electric skillet, and the coffee maker. That's what we need to do next time, Rio. We're partying all night long, and then it's breakfast time. Sun comes up. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me. I'm the host of this video, Lord Zicky Lang, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Bell Ridge. We are making a cocktail. We're on the cognac. We got this fancy bottle of Hennessy, and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to stay hip, relevant, and alive on the right side of the dirt. Um, perhaps you heard my little dissertation earlier on about the uh, Playboy, uh, whatever it's called, hosting, bartending, cocktail, all around good time, enjoy life book. 
This one is called the Brandy Cassis, although obviously we're going to be doing a little cognac. Pretty, pretty simple, straight up type of a deal here. We have our, uh, our Hennessy, the SOP. Thank you, Shrek. We have our Cassis. We have some lemon juice. <clears throat> and then we are going to, um, I'm doing simple garnishes. Simple, simple. Don't start asking me to create a pot leaf out of a sliced pineapple or a or a parrot head or a, you know anything else um we got some ice and um i kind of had to adjust this one this this one was uh, a cocktail that was made for a really really a very small portion um so i kind of tripled the recipe so it might be a little bit too much but you know you don't want to mess up the um the ratios too too uh, badly <clears throat> so this is technically this is a cocktail for three if you were following it but you know you can do that you can do the division long division later on um so here we go. We're going to do five and a quarter ounces of our Hennessy VSOP. There's four. There we go. One and a quarter. There we go. <clears throat> We're going to do one and a half ounces of our lemon juice. You can squeeze the lemon until the juice ran down your... One and a half ounces of lemon juice. <clears throat> and we're gonna go one and a half ounces of our uh, cassis here. There we go. Yeah. It's Wiener Wednesday. How's everybody doing out there today? Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel, you know, we're here once or twice a week. We're making cocktails for, you know, sometimes it's just me and my lovely assistant here. Um, the always adorable um, Jamie Rayel. Um, sometimes we have guests, studio guests in the audience down here. Live studio guests. We're making food. We're just not messing around down here. Not messing around at all. A little bit colder. There we go. Whoa. That looks brown. Rail and I uh, started um, taking Spanish lessons. Look at that. So I have to practice. Amarillo. Okay. Come and get it, Ray. Come and get it, baby. Yeah. Not bad, little stout, little stout, but um, I like it, I like it a lot. Thank you very much for joining us here live at the Wicker Bar, happy hour at the Wicker Bar, broadcasting live on the shores of the Longfellow Creek, you know me, the host of this video, Lord Sleepy Blade and the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Del Ridge. I'm bidding you a fond farewell um, until we meet again, until our glasses touch, thank you. Until our glasses touch. And you hear the gentle tinkle, tinkle, tinkle of the ice. And yeah. It's like a maraca. Come a maranda. Okay, I'm out of here. I'll catch you later.